I have asked this question in the past, and here are some common responses. One prototypical answer to the question, what does success in this course look like to you that I've gotten in the past reads, success in this course for me means to fully understand the concepts I learned in class and apply to various different situations. So the student understands that application of ideas is what's important. You know, their grade will reflect their understanding of the concepts and their ability to apply them. Another common answer is that practice problems, doing lots and lots of practice problems was a helpful thing for students learning physics in the past. And then a third common response reads, thoroughly understanding concepts and doing problems correctly. So once again, we see this actively doing problems as a key thing that y'all identify as being helpful in learning physics in the past. This student also commented that they found their teams in 131 to be helpful. So here we see a recognition that working with others is also helpful in learning physics. You can see that working to solve problems was important to a lot of students, as was the ability to bounce ideas off of your team members. As such, this course is designed to reflect what you found to be successful in 131, and is therefore designed around three main principles. One, that in these difficult times, flexibility is key. You should be able to commit to attending each session via Zoom, complete the course using recorded material, or be able to bounce back and forth between these two modes as you need. Two, that learning is an inherently active experience. You must do to learn. Just watching me talk is not going to help you learn anything. You must actively solve problems. I mean, this is your own admission. This is what y'all found helpful in the past. Three, learning is an inherently collaborative experience. Again, many students write that bouncing ideas off of other people was key to their success in physics 131 or the equivalent course and this is backed up by research that learning is a group activity and that humans learn best when we're in a social situation bouncing ideas off of each other in the next few videos we'll ex examine each of these three principles in turn click through the slides to hear about each point there are also a series of questions after each point as an opportunity to check your understanding 